up guys welcome back to the channel today I'm out in Westport uh, beautiful day out today it's about 60 degrees low 60 tides low tide was at seven o'clock we're about an hour into incoming tide and uh, we're gonna do some jetty fishing today. Should be all right, the wind's not that bad. Um, yeah, it's gonna be a good day, guys. Let's get into it. Okay guys, just a little tip before you guys head out to the jetty out here. You guys wanna make sure you come out on a good day where it's not rainy, where the rocks aren't wet. Okay. Also y'all, you wanna be wearing some good pair of shoes, hiking shoes or boots, something light. Do not wear sandals out here. I've seen some people try to attempt that, but it they didn't get so, too far. So yeah, good pair of boots, hiking hiking shoes. All right. My advice is don't come out here when it's wet. It, rocks can get really slippery. All right, guys. All right, guys, we are getting closer to my spot. See up ahead, the little deal up there, it's the, uh, some little lighthouse, the horn. All right, guys, getting closer. There's a foghorn. I believe it's every 10 seconds that thing is going to go off. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand, five, one thousand, six, one thousand, seven, one thousand, eight, one thousand, nine, one thousand, ten, one thousand. Pretty close anyways. All right, guys, the setup I'm using today for JD fishing. I got a nine foot Akuma, medium heavy, 10 to 30 pounds and lure weight, half pound or half ounce to two ounces. The reel I'm using today is a Penn Pursuit 2. Oh, I'm sorry, Pursuit 3, size 4,000, all right? Size 4,000. Also running a 15 pound mono. With the high low drop a shot rig, got the two ounce sinker on the bottom. Okay, about 18 inches up. Got a drop a loop with a three aught hook. You can go smaller, but uh, I like using three aught. All right, guys, the bait I'm using today is a Berkeley Gulp. The four inch minnow, the black shad is the best one that I came across. Like We're just gonna put it on the hook. Through the head, out the back. That, just like that. Just like that guys. Let's put another one on the top. Out the 
back just like that. Just like that, guys. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Okay, the trick is to not get it caught on the rocks below. So you want to cast out, you know, a good distance. Then you want to reel it in before you get too close to the rocks in front of you here. All right, see that buoy right in front of me? That red and white one? I'm gonna aim for that first. Okay, here you go. Oh, there we go. up fast you know what I'm gonna go down to that spot right there that little cove right there after a one more cast out here first see what happens yeah make sure you set the drag All right, guys, we're going to move down a little bit more, a little farther from the uh, foghorn. Let's, let's keep going. Yeah, let's keep going. That horn can get pretty annoying after a while, while fishing down there. Uh, let's keep going. Man, it looks good. Check out this tide pool, guys. Looks pretty neat. Look at that. There's got to be a fish up here. has to be a good spot too right here Fish on, guys. The star, <laughs> the starfish. Got a starfish, guys. Ah. Caught me a starfish, guys. Look at this.
going on? Any luck? You just got here or what? I just got here. Yeah. I got here about like 20 minutes ago. 20, 30 minutes ago. Did you get anything? <laughs> no bites yet. Do you know which side is better to fish on? I'm new. My opinion? That side. That's what I, I'm just messing around back here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just uh, seeing these guys out here. I don't know what they're fishing for, but but yeah, the right side's the best. Yeah, I got one yesterday we just got here. What'd you get? A black rock. Oh, nice. Yeah. We, we didn't fish for long. We just arrived and came and fished for a little bit. Is that right? Yeah, normally like the farther you go out, the better. That's what I heard, but you don't have to always come out this far, you know, just to catch them. But figure, out why not, right? <laughs> All right, man. Good luck. All right, guys, just got a bite. Two nibbles. That's enough to get me going. All right, come on. Fish on, guys. Come out of there. Yes. Oh, we got a link on, link on. We got a link, guys. Oh, shit. Yes. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Look at that, guys. <laughs> Look at that link on. Oh, my God. <laughs> Look at that, guys. Oh, yeah, it's a keeper. Last I checked, there are no size limit for these guys. They're allowed two. It used to be uh, 22 inches and up to be able to keep them. Last I read, there's no size limit on these guys. Yes, uh, guys, let's get another one. All right, guys, I just wanted to make sure uh, the size limit on the uh, link cod. So it says here, Daily bag limit of two link cod per angler. No minimum size limit. And that's for 2023. All right, it's confirmed. There's no size limit on link cods out here. Yes, ah. That being said, look at this guy. <laughs> Look at that thing. I measured it. It's 18, 18 inches. 18 inches. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one, guys. Yeah, let's get another one. Look at that thing. Good size either right there. All right, guys. Been quite a bit of grind today, but uh, you know, don't ever give up. Keep fishing, and that's, that's what you get. All right, guys, stay tuned. Let's get another one. All right, guys, we are three hours into uh, incoming tide. Three hours after low tide. Starting to pick up here. Those guys are catching fish down there too. Come on, one more ling. Oh hell no! I think we had a bite. I think we had a bite, guys. Come on, baby. All 
all right guys that's gonna be it for this video uh we caught a pretty nice size link on 18 inches but uh, the tides pretty much all the way in and the current's ripping current's pretty strong right now and uh also got a lot of seaweed coming in uh, yeah i'll catch you guys on the next one all right guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe right i'll see you on the next one